that also obviously brings up another case um, in Georgia, where where you are, uh, the other jurisdiction where you uh, try these sorts of cases. Uh, obviously, Ahmad Arbery, uh, that case deals with uh, the, the Rosenbaum shooting and then the shooting of Ahmad Arbery in the actual struggle before shots are fired. Uh, there's some similarities there in, in the the idea that you know, Arbery was was grabbing at uh, the gun in that case as well. But I think a lot of people would imagine that those two cases are probably going to come out very differently in court. We don't have a, uh, a verdict in the Arbery case yet, but uh, I think most people expect that that's a much harder self-defense claim to make. Can you talk a little bit about why, uh, one, if that's your view, and two, why there would be a significant difference because both of those shootings involve somebody grabbing the gun of of, of someone else right. before being shot? Yeah, I, I first of all, th th that is my view. I think there's likely to be a, a different result there. Um, it's not a foregone conclusion by any means, but um, I I mean, the cases are really very factually different. In the Rittenhouse case, Mr. Rosenbaum was chasing Mr. Rittenhouse um, on foot, and Mr. Rittenhouse ended up being cornered, more or less, by physical objects, not by other people, um, so that he essentially ran into a corner, had to turn around, and um, and that's when Mr. Rosenbaum lunged at him and tried to take his gun. In the Arbery case, um, Mr. Arbery was the one being chased. Um, he was on foot. He's being chased by, and he was unarmed. He was being chased by people who were armed. Um, and he essentially got cornered by multiple people chasing him and, and then reached for, it's not on, on the video very well, but it appears that he reaches for or lunges for, for the shotgun of, of the first guy who was, who was at him. So there's there's more of a case there that Mr. Arbery was making a desperate attempt to defend himself because he was being attacked. And and in the Rittenhouse case, there's not really much of an argument that Mr. Rosenbaum was being attacked by Mr. Rittenhouse because Mr. Rittenhouse was running away from him. Right. Yeah, I think that that sums up pretty well the, the big difference between those two things, because obviously they both involve a struggle over a firearm. Um, but one, in one case, you have the person shooting who was being pursued and, uh, and assailed by the person who got shot. And in the other case, you had the person who got shot was being pursued and assailed by the person with the gun. And I think that's, that's basically the key difference as to whether or not the shootings themselves are acts of self-defense. Right. If you would have just transposed Mr. Rittenhouse and Mr. Rosenbaum and, and say, for instance, that Mr. Rittenhouse had been chasing Mr. Rosenbaum, Mr. Rosenbaum got cornered, and then he turned around and tried to grab the gun and, and got shot, that would have been a very different case.